Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the last episode of my Darkness Falls series. So the last episode before this, we took on the main bunker. Um, did a pretty good job actually. I was actually kind of shocked that we were able to complete everything that we did when we were there. Um, I, I, the fact that we that we forgot all of the yeah, cards at home, but we were able to find them on the way through. Picked up a laser pistol and everything. That's kind of cool. But uh, the base is ready to go for tonight. I've done everything that I needed to do. The one interesting thing that I discovered, um, and I'm sure people already knew this, but these turrets, so they take the laser batteries, meaning the laser battery like, like will stop a de demon's regen. So both of these turrets have the laser batteries now. So if they knock a demon off of here, they'll stop the demon's regen which is a huge bonus for us. So that's really gonna help out since this horde is the six, 64 max alive zombie horde. Warrior difficulty, it's not insane difficulty, just warrior difficulty. Uh, we got killed last night, or last time, last horde night because of a spider zombie. Uh, made its way past the front door and got in. So this time we're not messing around. I'm not gonna go, I might use the shotgun if it's the doorway's easy, but for the most part, we're going with coil rifles and the SMG tonight. I've also extended the length of the evening. It's an extra couple of hours long. Um, so rather than being six hours long, it's an eight hour long evening. So it's gonna be an insane, well for me it's gonna be an insane horde. So I made a couple of special things here. We got, I made as much coil ammo as I could possibly make. Um, I bought anything that was made out of plastic from the traders and broke it all down. It was able to give me another 400 rounds, which isn't much, but it's not bad. Um, I do have an, a backup coil rifle here. It's not fully modded out, but it's pretty close. I've got a backup SMG. It's got a handful of mods in it. Um, but if we burn through all three coil rifles in this S SMG, uh, then I think we're going to be in trouble anyway, and that it won't matter what mods we have in that thing. Um, we'll probably be in trouble. So this night I've decided to leave the um, SMGs on that are gov covering the doors. So you can see I killed a bunch of zombies out there during the night. Um, I'm going to leave the SMGs on in the doorways here, all four doorways through the night. And I put an extra SMG turret right up here. It's kind of facing down, covering these stairs here and this walkway. And it's got 600 rounds, of, or sorry, 900 rounds of ammo in it. Uh, we still have our two Mark II uh, 762 turrets set up up there as anti-air defense. So if we get any flyers tonight, then at least those two turrets plus the one that's up there will be able to hopefully do some good damage to it so we can finish it off quickly. Um, and I should hear those, well, we're gonna hear turrets going off all night because we got all these turrets on. So I have a feeling it's just these two and maybe the one by the front door that's gonna be used the most. Um, but I made a bunch of contact grenades too. We got 40 rounds for the rocket launcher because we're gonna have to burn through like we're gonna have to kill these guys. They're gonna be everywhere down here. So we're gonna have to thin it out as best we can before they get to the double sledge turrets. Uh, if things go really bad, then we're gonna be standing in this doorway the whole night. Um, and I think I've got enough coil rounds to be able to just sort of stand there. I'm gonna kind of shy away from the shotgun tonight, unless it's like a, the doorway is really easy. Or there's only a couple zombies there, then I'll use the shotgun. But other than that, we're gonna go coil and SMG most of the night. Um, uh, yeah, I think we're okay. I upgraded some of this. Now this is turned on already, so let's see if we can get out uh, in here. So I upgraded this part to titanium. I upgraded this part to titanium. And as you can see, I upgraded this part here to titanium as well. So if they do manage to get all the way over to here, if we have to back up and we're into here now, at least it's still titanium. This is a full solid piece plus a plate. So it's double layer titanium which should be enough, I think. If we end up having to fight in here, I think we'll probably be, be fine. And I did bring some regular grenades here so we can drop them down there if we do have to re retreat back. And I put the second door in here just because we need we needed a second door in the game. But I couldn't, it's, this, it's weird, these blocks are weird because you can't, once you put the door in, you can't put anything above it. Like it just extends beyond the regular size which is weird because if I left a like a two by two block here, this would fit perfectly, but now that it's in, I couldn't get anything above this. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, we'll just have to deal. I couldn't even get, I, I wanted to put, I put plates out here so that I could um, 
put something hanging down here, but I can't even do that. So we'll see what happens. I mean, if birds fly in or whatever, they fly in. There's not much I can do. That's if we're back here. I don't know. I don't think we'll we'll be back this far. We may have to use this second doorway here. Um, maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, I'm really hoping that we don't. Ha it doesn't actually come to this, and we're not here. But if we are, I mean, a lot of the bigger guys still need to break their way through here. So it'll be all the small zombies that would we'll be shooting from here uh, until they smash through. And, and at that point, you know. It'll probably be so late in the evening that it won't matter. We're going to start with two of these up as well. Um, just so that uh, we don't run into the same problem we had last time with the uh, spider zombies and everything getting through. So I'm going to go down. I know it's a little early in the day. Um, I'm just going to let the time run out because there's nothing else that I'm really going to do to the base here. I mean, you guys saw the paint job there the other day. Got the flags up. Right? Run up there. So I mean, yeah, it's it's a nice little base, you know. I'm gonna miss it because I mean Alpha 20's out now, so I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna get into some Alpha 20 playing after this. I want to do a series. I already know what I kind of want to do, but but yeah, this is um I kind of like this base. It's nice that we have the walls for during the day that we don't have to worry about zombies bothering us, and then. The horde base is kind of inside. I like the idea, especially in Darkness Falls, of having a base like this where you've got the walls on the outside, but then doors you can just open up to let them in for horde night. Really funnel the zombies where you want them. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it's going to be sad that this base is gone. It took me forever to kind of get it updated, but now that it's updated, you know... It would have been really nice to have it this way at the start. I think maybe the next Darkness Falls series I do, we kind of do that where we set it up early on. I'm, I'm not sure why this is glitching out here. Getting weird weird lighting glitches with these doors at the top. You know, yeah, I really like this base. But the traders in Alpha 20 have changed. I've seen one. I watched a couple of videos of uh, Glock 9 playing Alpha 20. I didn't go too far. I went like a video in a bit. Just to kind of see if, if how much has really changed. And the world looks beautiful. I wish they had fixed the skills and stuff, but they haven't. If they were more Darkness Falls kind of skills, I think it would be great. But the world looks beautiful. It's like they've done a really lot like a lot of detail work on a lot of the on a lot of the buildings and how it's set up. The cities look great, everything looks great. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing that. Um, but yeah, let's let's actually head down and have a look at the farm. Because we set that up like several episodes back and then never did anything with it. But it's one of those things that I kind of had to kind of do. Because I kept saying I was going to build a farm. You know? Let's go have a quick look here. Yeah, so I mean it turned out okay. This is working just fine. The the uh, watering system's working just fine. Everything grew just fine. So I mean, we didn't quite. Uh, it's a little bit of a lag spike there. I wonder if we got a wandering horde spawning in somewhere. There was one this morning, so I'm like just wondering if there's another one coming. Nope. Oh, maybe. What was that? Did you see that? That thing, that whatever it was, fell. Is that a vulture? No, it's a hornet. What the hell is a hornet doing here? Must have just strayed over from there. Yep, don't see any wandering hordes, so I think we're good. Yeah, so, I mean... I mean, the base isn't perfect. It's like... We could have done a lot more work to it. But after I added all the paint and everything, it just looks so much better. Oh shit, I missed the whole side. <laughs> I missed the whole side. Uh, let's go paint that now though. We got a few minutes. Don't see anybody else over there. Okay, let's go paint that real quick. So I can feel like it's done and I'm having problem with the textures again. I didn't put that command in, but whatever. It is what it is. Alright. 
Not worried about the textures for this last board. That was the uh, turret going off. I got all the doors closed because I didn't think I'd be uh, going in and out here. Let's just smoke her real quick. I'm wasting ammo before Horde Night, but... I'm also getting... Oh, yeah, we got to spend some skill points, too. First, let's actually get the... Because uh, we're level 145 right now. Let's grab you and some paint. Get out here. Not sure how I missed this. Actually, I am sure how I missed this. Okay, put you down there. Grab this. And we'll sample you. And we're on paintbrush, right? Yeah. Just go here. Trying to avoid getting all the stuff I've already painted. There we go. That bit. And we'll do this bit. I'm not sure how I missed this, though. I think it's because I, I couldn't really see it when I was painting from down there. I couldn't see up at the top, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll just come back and do it later. Yeah, typical story. Yeah, because I even got the inner detail here already. So, yeah. Well, it's fixed now. That's all that matters. All right, let's get back inside. Oh, it's my headphones. I, I've got my uh, headphones plugged in because they're recharging. And I heard something scraping. I thought it was one of those little Night Stalkers banging on a door somewhere, but it's not. It's just my headphones. All right, dropping this stuff in here. So we're going to put some mines down. Actually, let's go open up all the doors because we're ready to go. Um, so we're going to go outside. Be the last time we close this door for a horde. Grab these. Don't mind there being a hole there. Yeah, it's got to be my head. It sounds so much like a Night Stalker. It's got. It's just my headphones. It's freaking me out. Okay, we'll open up all the doors. I know it's a little early, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright. So that should stay open now. Apparently not. Wait, should that... Always, right? Yeah, and this one, should, this one should be always as well. There we go. I just gotta... I swear to God, these headphones... There's nothing banging out here, right? Yeah. I gotta unplug them before or night, because otherwise I'm gonna be thinking there's stuff going on that's not. Alright, let's get these ones opened up. And on this side... I think I'm going to put the mines down in the courtyard here. Like me, well, I don't know. They're going to go through these mines so quick. Maybe we just put them in the doorways? We've got half a day left. Be well, yeah, before the uh, hoarder. Well, a little less than half. So I'll hold off. I'm going to be back in a, I'll be back in a bit when the uh, when the light turns red and we're ready to go, I'll come back and then uh, we'll put these mines down and we'll get get in the base and get ready to go. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this horde. As much I am as I am terrified about dying in this particular horde, because I think we've died a fair number of times. Nine deaths. So that we, we died twice down in that one town. Uh, where was it? It was by a mine, wasn't it? We died once by a... Was it once or twice by the mines? Something like that. Like down here in that watering hole, water hole, wherever the hell that was. Right? We died twice on Horde Night. Man, I can't even remember all the deaths now. Oh, yeah, the motorcycle death, that was a fluke. I don't really count that one because that was like... Issues. I know we died twice on Horde Night. I don't know. I can't even remember them all now. It's sad because I like I like trying to play so that I don't die at all. But uh, Darkness Falls is one of those mods that's just anything can happen at any time, right? So 
you always got to be aware of that. You're going to get killed. Oh, yeah, once by the behemoth down in that one town. I wasn't expecting him. He came out of the... <laughs> He came out of that door in the working stiff tools. I think that was our first death, where he just murdered us real quick. We had almost we had almost killed him, and then he killed us. Yeah. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna uh, come back when the uh, the horde's ready to go. All right. Well, there's the flash. Crickets just started. There's a couple rumblings a little earlier. Last night in this world. Oh man, last horde, last night. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put some mines. I don't know where I want to put these. Is that a zombie? No, it's shadows. Um, do I want to just put them in here? Let's put... I'm going to put a couple of these guys. Well, I'll put one of these guys here. Because we had some zombies roaming around this thing the other night. That might do something to them. And then let's put one here. And then let's put one here. And I'm going to put one. Oh, I can't put one in front of Jen's door. Damn. Right. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Okay. Uh, they got to be set. They got to be spread out a bit. So let's put. Okay, we got the bigger ones now. We're going to put two... Well, actually, I'm going to put one here. Same on this door. I mean, we're only going to kill a couple zombies with these, so it's not a big deal, but... And then let's say we put one here. And we put one here. Uh, where else? I'm just worried about them kind of getting propelled into each other. Let's put one there. Uh, let's put one... Hmm. Well, let's put one... Um, that's probably a little too close to the other ones. Let's put one up here. Like that. And then, as a present, for the very first zombie that decides to make it past, we're going to put one right here. But we're going to jump across here first. Alright. I better make sure these are on. Yep. Okay. Ow. We're going to put one right there. As a present for the very first zombie. <laughs> Who can make it that far? Alright. Well. Sun's going down. we probably got a couple minutes here. So I'm just going to uh, come back. And hopefully no one shows up before the horde does. It ruins all my minds. But uh, let's get... Actually, this door closed, too. Um, no, I'm going to leave it open like I always have. Actually, no. But I'm going to leave it closed. I don't think that's where the spider got it, zombie got in last night. I'm, I'm convinced he came in through that front door when the hatch went down. And I kind of fumbled getting the second one up. I'm sure that's how he got in. He may have gotten in through here. I doubt it. But I think he got in through here. So, Okay. See you in a minute. Oh man, I can hear my, my hard drive grinding. It's getting ready to load all the zombies. <laughs> it's 64 alive, so I have no idea. I know Kane has mentioned that it's like, it might melt your computer because it's so many. And if it's like everyone catches on fire and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm hoping that these things do a good job of... Uh, Helping me take down the uh, the demons tonight. And I upgraded this all to titanium too. So I can hide behind here and get some good protection. They've never you know, had a chance to break through there. But at least it's well protected. I wish there was like... You know, a coating or something that you could put on these. Like upgrade them with some kind of like fire retardant chemical or something. And it would take X amount of da fire damage before it would allow fire to pass through it. Because even if you're standing by here and it explodes, the demon's fire explodes here, you still get caught on fire. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, it's turning red. Here it comes. Okay, there's the lag. Hope I don't die from lag. Okay, there's turrets going off. Hmm. 
Yeah, he ran in and ran right back out again. Come on, you fuckers. Yeah. Demo already. Uh, demon. Let's see if we can see who gets it here. I wonder if it's going to be the demo. No, you didn't make it through. Okay, can we get this? Oh, I think we got the demon. No, it spit. All right, fire. Protection. Oh, I never did spend my points. Shoot. Uh, I was going to do that, too. Let's just do it quick. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, oh, God. Let's do this. Hey, I can't spend it because of something. Damn. Oh, well, no big deal. Okay, the lag is getting real here. How's it feel to be on fire, buddy? Okay, we got that guy. Yeah, they're going our, like in a loop-de-loop -loop here. I think it's time for some of this. I gotta... I didn't bring anything to get rid of the... Um, Ow. Somebody else blowing up. I gotta get rid of this goop here. I think I can do it with a shotgun. Oh, hey, buddy. It's a little laggy. It's not too, too bad, though. Alright. Look at this. Holy crap. Holy crap! <laughs> I think we better use this. Oh, that guy got blown up onto the... Uh... I don't know how many of these guys are demons or... Nobody's at the door. I don't know why they're not at the door. I have no idea why they haven't made it to the door yet. That big guy's back there. Oh, hey. What's up, you? We haven't got any big guys yet, which is good. Cop. I wonder if I should um, do this. Just in case, because I'm not really paying that much attention to the doors there. Crap. There comes the uh, behemoth. Let's get to the door. Can leave this down now. Yeah, it's really, really laggy. Somebody took that mine. It was probably one of the, these guys. You got a piece of me too. There he is. There he goes. Another one. He fell. There he is. That could be another one, though.
These fucking guys, man. Yeah, the lag is real. 32 is really... is a good balance. It gives you frame rate and it gives you menace, you know? Oh, shit, another one right there. Yeah, that was the wounded one, I think. Okay, we got a radiated one coming up here now. I'm still on fire. Did he get knocked off? I saw a radiated one coming up here. There he is. He fell off. They broken the first door yet? No, they have not. There he is again. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there. Is there two there or am I Okay, he's down. Reloading. Yeah, he took almost two full clips. Did I just see another behemoth? I saw something. I thought it was a behemoth. It could have been a bear. Out. Okay, let's bring um, these down. Yeah, another one. He's going to break that hatch. Okay, we got the one guy. This guy's still working on it, though. He's gone. He's he's taking that hatch down. Run the last hatch here. Oh man. Lag is real, holy moly. If we get another behemoth here, they're gonna come through this door. And we won't be able to stop them. I, I'm having a hard time telling what's what here. I'm hoping that this um, hatch is far enough back that the behemoth can't reach it because of the posts that are here. If I die by spider monkey tonight, I'm going to be so mad. Demo? Yeah. Yeah, they, you know what it is? The hordes on 32, are, I think, would be better because half the zombies don't know what to do because of the processing power. Kane wasn't kidding when he said that they were, this would melt your machine.
Wow. Let's see those all the turrets going off too. Okay, that guy's dead. Guns busted. Oops, not that one. This one. I know I'm on fire. Wasn't doing a lot of damage. I wonder if um, the, those junk turrets are uh, down. My God, look at this. Submachine gun loads so much faster. I'm trying to get rid of all the Bernie boys first, but it's not working. Guy's legs, get his legs. I almost want to set him off. Okay, let's take a second to reload. All three guns are down. Uh, we can't. This guy's got to die. God, I apologize for anyone who with, with epilepsy. Severe strobe warning. Yeah, shotgun would have no use here. The worst thing now is if a fucking behemoth would show up. If it does, I'm like, I'm going back through that other door. I'm not even like aiming at anyone else. There's one. Okay, it's not a big, it's not one of the uh, radiated ones, so it's okay. This door is still on the first level. Jesus Christ. That's another one. I'm interested to see what's up with those junk turrets. Maybe they just can't keep up with the uh, amount of zombies. It's not going to be long before these wired fences are down. I'm glad I have five of them. Okay, you're full. Reloading. God, I paused for a second and it's like a hundred guys are here. Shit, that's not the good place to blow up. I think we got him though. Okay, I think that one fell down. I'm on fire again. Okay, he blew up down below. Hopefully took some guys with him. Okay, let's clear this door out. This is probably a bad idea, but... Second gun is almost done. My god, the lag!
Thank God for armor-piercing ammo, holy crap. So I had rad removers. Oh, that gun's done. I had rad removers on the um, turrets as well, but it seems that some of these guys are still uh, radiated. Yep, I'm here in the uh, one of the. Uh, Electrical fences isn't working now. We may have to pull back to the second line of defense here in a second. Nope, nope, nope. Die, die. Yep. Die, 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 die. He's still alive. Is he? No, I think we killed him. My God. That was a behemoth, I think it was. Yep, that's just the nasty one. And we've only got one coil rifle functioning. There he goes. My god, this gun is just going so slow because of the frame lag. Just going to do this for a second. That door is almost done. Let's let him in. Get the second door up. How did you get through? That guy's head off. Man, morning better show up fast. Not very many of them getting through now. I think that plate is helping out a lot at that doorway. Yeah, I think almost all of our fences are down now. I think I got the dog before he blew up. Down to an SMG now. Come on. I mean, I guess I could just repair them. Shit, I'm gonna have to. Oh god, there's two of them.
Okay, I think we got the one. I don't know if the second one's dead, though. Nope. Different guy. I may have to pull back even further here in a second. They're through that other hatch. My God. I did not think I'd be have to go back this far. Come on. Oh my god, there's the morning. Holy crap. So this base is totally viable. Um, if you're repairing. I mean, I didn't repair the base at all, right? Alright, well, that's all. I'm interested to see how much damage they did, though. Hey, lady. Ow. I'm gonna have to jump down there in a second. I don't know what's up with this guy here. Looks like he's stuck in the wall. I guess I can't hit him. Let's repair this. Ow. Hey, Dougie. Okay, well. We're still laggy as hell here. They broke a block there. Okay, that guy's down. Ow. Okay, um... Now what? I have no idea how many are left. So a bunch of the bears couldn't get up, it looks like. And of course... Yeah, as fun as 64 zombies max alive would be nice in Darkness Falls, I just don't think, okay, I don't have the processing power for that. That guy keeps shooting me through the wall there. Okay, let's bring down, the, do we have any water left? We don't have any water left, that's the last of it. All right, we got one more.
Hope I haven't killed the guards. I don't see the guard there. I think that's it for the bears. Fuck it, let's... Oh, they're still coming. That was a screamer. Damn it, she screamed. It's actually a real screamer. Die, 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 yes. Wow, look at the lag. Okay, let's focus on getting who we can here. Where the fuck's that bear going? White down. Crap, we got no water. Don't know how I'm going to deal with this without any water. Um. Wow. The lag is insane. Oh, shit. I gotta find those screamers. Don't know how many of these are left over from the night before. That one, there's one right there. Like I said, I have no idea how many of these guys are left over from the horde. We use the Mega Crush. Okay. This guy's missing a leg and he's still going. Shit. Let's go around the building. Okay, here another screamer. She's done. Hi, right, buddy. Hi, right, doggy. I hear another fucking screamer. There you are. She's done. Out. Does that... No, that doesn't do it. I thought maybe because that thing gives you water that it would give you, uh, health at the same time, but it... Or, um... We'll put the fire out, but it doesn't. Okay, I did not know where that guy came from, but... Alright. Let's start clearing this up now. Still laggy as balls, man. Okay, that was a demon. Another one right here. As long as we can kill all the demons. Okay, he's done. I know there's one of those big night guys, night gods inside here. They move so slow during the day that I'm not worried about it. There he is.
You're wasting my time. You're going so damn slow. How many times I got a chance to shoot that thing tonight? Wow, they did a number on this place. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Wow. Sixty four max alive. Don't do it. <laughs> Holy crap. Both of our turrets, they ran out of durability. That's what happened. They're not functioning now. They ran out of durability before the end of the night. It's exactly what happened. And these are all broken. Look at the bags though. Like my god. We survived it though. That's the thing, right? Having those two fallback positions, we didn't need the second one, but we were very, very close to needing that second one. And if I had left it on, um, I think if we left it, the um, the duration of the night on six hours, we would have been able to just complete it this door. This one was almost destroyed. It's on the last level, so less than seven. Th oh, no, maybe the second last level, it looks like. But still, about 7,000 hit points left, and it would have gone down. And they broke through one of the hatches here. So they broke through three and a half hatches. But look at the loot. Look at it. Like that's a fortune. I'm not going to bother going through it because the series is over now. But man, that's a... What a way to go out. I thought for sure I was going to die tonight. Like I was convinced because of what happened the other night. The last horde night that I was going to die. That something was going to break through and I wasn't going to see it. And it was going to hit me until I died. But I, I managed to bring a lot of first aid this time. Thinking if I was going to do it. Like I mean the proper way to do this is to get one of those helmet mods. That has the uh, water filtration system in it. And use murky water. Because you can stack those up to 100 and something for water. Yeah. The murky water only gives you 10 water though. Whereas the orange juice that I was giving you was giving you 24 water a pop plus then the, these things give you 60 or whatever it is. Because your water will drop a fair bit when you're on fire. So, I mean, I don't know. We did okay. We did okay. Alright, well, that's going to wrap it up. Let's go see Jen here. I'm sure she just just like, yeah, hey, what, was something going on out here last night? Well, you're here early. What can I do <laughs> for you? I'm surprised that I'm here at all, Jen. All right, well, that's going to be the end of the series, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure as hell did. That was a wonderful way to end this one. Um, that running around on foot here at the very, very end. I think some of them despawned when I ran, went around this house, though. It didn't feel like we got them all. I was actually concerned about that, but I needed to kind of um, uh, mistake like the, some of the pathing for, the, for these guys so that they weren't all on me at once. But I think some of them despawned, which is kind of unfortunate. But we did have, I think, two or three Screamer hordes there at the end. Like, as soon as we jumped down, we could see them coming in from the front. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to leave this here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, please keep your eye open for my Alpha 20 series. It'll be coming out. I don't know when that'll happen. It'll be in a little while. I've got another... Um, I'm still working on the... Uh, the battle report series that we're doing um, for Rogue Tech and I've actually got a few episodes of my next Rogue Tech series um, recorded got the intro and music done so that'll be posted probably before you see this and then I'll probably get into an Alpha 20 uh, playthrough I don't know yet I don't know what the uh, what the deal is going to be yet if I'll um, do it right away or if I'll wait for it to be more stable or whatever I hear somebody? No um, so we'll just see. But yeah, I mean, the steel's broken on these. These are almost done. Yeah, base held up. Alright, till next time. See y'all later.